This video is sponsored by Home Chef. Good morning guys and happy Monday. It's such a gloomy day, it rained all weekend, but this week is the final week of my inpatient month um, at this particular hospital. So I am on call again. Um, I was on call Friday, on call again Monday, just today, and on call again on Thursday. We have call every three days at this hospital, so it's pretty exhausting. Call days are, first, are from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. But I've been I've had a pretty good um, experience at this hospital the past three weeks. Um, I've been having two pretty good attendings. The residents um, are really nice. They all teach, so it's been a pretty good learning experience overall. But I am just ready to move on to the final month of inpatient and go back to the main hospital where the call schedule is every five days. So we have five more weeks of the rotation. Um, the internal medicine show is on June 14th. So really gotta pick up this studying um, and try to do a lot of studying at the hospital since I'm at the hospital all day. So gotta utilize the downtime that I do have. if they had any follow-up studies make sure I read that and then after that I go do um, a physical exam on that on them and then a little bit later in um, the morning we all come together as a team we round and we discuss our patients and then make a plan for the day and because we're on call um, as well as taking care of the patients that's already on our team we are admitting new patients from the emergency department today and my patient is currently on precautions. I have to make sure I wear the proper gear when I go in his room to examine him. I just got done seeing my first patient. He's likely being discharged today, just pending the recommendations from GI. Heading to see my second patient. I'm probably gonna be in here for a long time because he is a talker. So he kept me in there for a long time per usual. Um, it's now 8.45. I'm just going to go back uh, to the call room, um, do some URL questions until we have morning rounds at 10 with the whole team. I had two patients this morning to pre-round on, and then when we get a page from the ED, I'll just pick up one more patient for the day. But I am determined to use my time wisely um, today at work and knock out as many URL questions as I can. And I am done for the day. It is 5.45. Um, our, our attending let us out a bit early because we capped and went ahead and rounded on our patients and saw all our patients um, that were admit admitted with him. So pretty much um, after morning rounds, he, uh, the attending leaves. Well, every attending is different, but this attending after morning rounds, the days are on call. He leaves and then he comes back a little bit later in the afternoon to discuss and see the patients that were admitted from the emergency department. So we we're able to finish a little bit early today. So he dismissed us around 545 instead of staying the full shift till seven. All right, back at my apartment. All I'm pretty much going to be doing for the rest of the evening is you wrote questions, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. By the way, I was able to knock out about 15 questions um, at the hospital today, so pretty happy about that. Good morning, guys. So this morning I actually have off because um, half of our class has the end of the year OSCE, so we get the morning off, but we do have lecture um, later in the afternoon at the hospital. So I'm using this time to um, run some errands. I'm currently in the process of applying to away rotations um, for fourth year. So the away rotations, you pretty much do a month long rotation in whatever specialty you're applying to at different programs. So if you're interested in matching in a particular region, maybe the Northeast, Southeast, you'll do your aways over there. Or if there's a specific program you want to match into, you'll apply to do 
in a way um at that program so right now i'm looking for away rotations but it requires like immunizations and things like that so i'm headed to the um clinic to get some updated um immunizations i need an updated um tb test and then i'm going to campus so that they can um do some other things my application like upload my transcript and some other things <laughs> just got three needle sticks for TB, for head B, and for MMR. I previously got head B um, and MMR vaccinations as a child, but I got my titers last week and it showed I didn't have immunity anymore. So now I have to go through the head B series again. And then MMR is just like a one-time shot. Um, but now I'm on campus. Um, I went to the registrar's office and they uploaded all the information that I needed to apply to wear rotations on VSAS. So now my applications are submitted. So now it's just time to wait and see. Um, I am gonna follow up and call the programs and all that, but it's pretty much just a waiting game. So it's uh, 12.45 right now. Don't have class until three in the afternoon. So I'm just gonna stay on campus until I have to um, head over to the hospital for lecture. So I am back home and I am about to get ready to head to the gym. Um, that was a really bad angle for lighting, but if I come home, relax and rest, it's a high chance that I won't go to the gym. So the best thing is to, as soon as I get home, change and then walk over to my apartment gym. It looks like I have a package. So I have to thank Home Chef again for sponsoring today's video. Um, I really like um, meal kit delivery services simply because of the convenience that it provides and like the variety of the different meals that you can choose from. So I'm gonna open this up and then I'll let you guys know all about Home Chef. So Home Chef is a meal kit delivery service. They deliver meals straight to your doorstep with fresh ingredients and all of the ingredients are measured out so you're never gonna waste anything that they send you. So what you do is you go to the website and you choose the plan that you want. So I got the two person plan and I got four meals per week. So that's what was delivered to me today. Then after that, you choose the different options that you want. So they have a large menu with a variety of different foods. So just get whatever caters to your liking. So Home Chef is really an option for anybody that wants to start eating healthy or maybe you want to get creative in the kitchen but can't quite think of the most to create for yourself or if you're just a busybody and you really don't have time with your schedule to go to the grocery store and get all those different ingredients that's, needs, that's needed to create the different meals that you want to make. So, whew, okay, this is so much food. Four different meals like I mentioned. Um, and then these are all the ingredients. All the ingredients are placed on different cards the recipes and then they sent this little folder where you can like pretty much save all the recipes that you get from home chef so that's pretty cool all right so let's see which one i'm gonna go with there's feta crusted chicken with cauliflower flatbread that looks pretty good let's see what else Chicken empanada bowl or mushroom parmesan penne pasta. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think this is more like a snack and I'm kind of hungry. So I'm gonna go with this chicken with cauliflower. All right, so I put the other meals to the side and I'm gonna cook that this weekend. So I'm gonna start with the feta crusted chicken with cauliflower. Um, so the first step was to preheat the oven with, to 400, which I have already done. Okay, this meal is actually gonna be super easy and simple. It even gives you like the difficulty level and difficulty level is an easy on this one which is good because i'm kind of pressed for time this evening so the first step is the cauliflower they give you this pan to actually um bake it in and then these are all the ingredients it's the feta 
this is the seasoning that you're gonna use and give you some butter. So let me go ahead and start prepping that. up the rest for lunch tomorrow let's go try it cauliflower usually isn't my vegetable of choice but it's pretty good I'll try the chicken chicken is good as well the feta is a nice addition to it so if you guys are interested in trying out Home Chef, you can use the link in the description box to get $80 off your first four meals. So this has been a very busy rotation for me, busy time of the year, internal medicine. Um, it's a pretty busy rotation. And then in addition to getting ready for residency application, applying to away rotations, been a lot going on. Um, hence the inconsistencies with my upload uploading on YouTube. And it's gonna uh, most likely be like this for the next few weeks until the rotation is over. Most likely vlogs every other week instead of my typical every single Sunday. Um, but yeah, I'm learning a lot on internal. Um, one thing I've definitely learned is, well, I've been learning this throughout third year, is that your learning, your education is your responsibility. Um, in second year, all the information was just fed to you through lectures or whatever, whatever learning avenue your school has. Now it's up to you, you know, there's not always formal lectures in third year. You learn through your attendings, you learn through your residents, but at the end of the day you go home and you read and you learn more on your own. You learn about whatever disease your patient has, you learn about the treatment plan, the medication, the side effects, you know, all that. So your learning is in your hands. Um, you can make the most out of your situation or you can, you know, kind of fall behind and it's, you know, it's really up to you. And at the end of the day, there's always so much more that you need to know, so much more that you can learn. I mean, medicine is like a lifelong learning career, so this is just the beginning. But if you're um, in second year right now, I know it's getting close to step one time, the dedicated period. And it's a that's a pretty tough time um, in second year, but... No, the grass is greener on the other side. After you make it past that hurdle, uh, step year, uh, third year is much better. Third year is still difficult, but it's a different kind of difficult. Um, you're at least, you know, seeing patients, learning the clinical side. So just hang in there and good luck if you have step one coming up. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.